Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Enlightenment. Yes, so here am I, your Vindhya Ma'am, Bio Queen. We'll be telling you an interesting facts, we'll be enlightening you in the knowledge uh, of science especially. And today's students session is going to be really, really interesting because we are talking about chocolates. Yes, about dark chocolates. So I'm very uh, sure students at the end of the session, you will be able to get convinced at the same time you can convince your parents regarding the dark chocolates that is you might be hearing from your parents that uh, you shouldn't be eating chocolates you will be falling ill you will be getting caries in your uh, teeth and all these things right but i'm very sure that at the end of the session you will be convinced you can convince your parents that literally dark chocolate is really 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 health beneficial right and students what are you doing share the video like the video and literally you have to keep subscribing the channels right so let's get started first of all i would be asking you students what is exactly dark chocolate right because uh, many of you, you you might be thinking anything that appear dark any chocolate that appear dark is dark chocolate actually no because dark chocolate is literally a chocolate with no added milk solids right so basic ingredients of this dark chocolate is made up of cocoa uh, beans sugar and emulsifier like soy uh, lecithin so this lecithin is able to act as an emulsifier so simply lecithin is a material which is able to solute which, which is able to get dissolved both in lipid both in the oil Oil, uh, lipid as well as in the water right so they are used as very good preservatives and also they uh, are able to provide proper texture a smooth texture they will be able to provide to the chocolate right so it is made up of these many things and definitely it can be flavored by vanilla as well so this is nothing but dark chocolate but it is more containing of cocoa uh, cocoa powder but less of sugar because it is dark chocolate and you would be also getting the bitterish you know taste of the dark dark chocolate when you eat it right so it is more bitterish in taste and you will be able to get maybe a small amount of sugar as well and maybe this is why especially cause of having more of cocoa i can tell you they will be having quite, quite more amount of you know health benefit when compared to the normal chocolates right and students there are varieties of dark chocolate it is not just one dark, dark chocolate that you could find in the market or anywhere like that right so we can actually differentiate classify the dark chocolate depending on the sweet that they are able to have depending on the sugar concentration that these are able to consisting of right so there are three types bitterest bitter sweet sw semi sweet and proper sweet dark chocolate yes it just looks so yum even while i'm explaining you i feel oh my god why why chocolate i feel like eating some so maybe after the class i might be having some plenty of chocolate definitely have some right so even you can have uh, chocolates after the class by having the consent from your parents because definitely when you watch this class when you show this particular video to your parents they will be also convinced at the end yes i have to give i have to maybe gift or i have to uh, provide some dark chocolates to my uh, kids because literally they are having lot of health benefits right students and yes how long you can store this dark chocolate because i'm very sure when your relatives uh, maybe who are in in RIs or maybe whoever living in the abroad countries right they will be getting the chocolates to you right so some of the time the chocolate might be of many uh, not years definitely but it, it would be of some more months so you would be thinking so uh, this particular chocolate might be of some uh, three four months can i eat this chocolate or not yes because for normally for any food if you consider uh, it is not actually suggested to eat certain things after certain duration of time right but what about dark chocolate to be very frank students may because of having less amount of uh, uh, you know uh, sugar or any other material uh, chocolates especially dark chocolates even can be eaten after a year right so maximum you know storage can be done of one year uh, maybe of some more months as well and definitely it can be stored uh, you know can be stored definitely in the refrigerator also if you keep outside the refrigerator also it can be stored right and yes now coming to why should you eat dark chocolate yes why one should be eating that yes it is so yum students 
I am like feeling I am in a chocolate world, right? Because even if you see my screen, it's like brownish chocolateish color with the caramel in the corners, right? So, but why? Why should one eat chocolate, and why? Why dark chocolate or why any chocolate will be make us quite happy, right? When we eat, so I'm going to tell the reasons for all these things. So, very first, why one has to eat chocolate because it is highly nutritious so if you see the ingredients of the dark chocolate it is made up of 168 calories approximately if you just take an ounce of dark chocolate so it is more made up of cocoa powder cocoa solids and definitely 168 calories it has yes and it is highly rich with the fiber carbohydrate fat and proteins right in addition to this it has got everything nutritious right and in addi in addition to these materials in, in addition to these nutrients they also have got certain minerals like copper manganese iron phosphorus which is involved in production of atp right magnesium zinc vitamin k selenium calcium and potassium as well so all the important uh, minerals also some important vitamins are present in the dark chocolate so it is highly nutritious i guess that's why um, we prefer eating lot of chocolate when we are more hungry right because it is able to literally fulfill the nutrition of the body and then the next question you will be having many of you you would be having because we hear facts here and there right can chocolate fight aging that is can i reverse my age cause of chocolate right and can our skin glow more cause of chocolate because some of you might have also have heard about a uh, face pack uh, you know uh, chocolate face pack right so is it really going to help us for the glowing of the skin is it really going to help us to reverse our aging this is all questions you might be having but yes students you should be very happy that chocolate is a very good powerful antioxidant now what is this antioxidant students cause of in taking inhaling oxygen oxygen is able to produce free radicals in other way round oxygen can kill us because more and more oxygen when we take oxygen is able to release you know uh, free radicals of oxygen and these free radicals they can damage our cells so when the cells are getting damaged def definitely it has to divide more and more so as and when the cells divide more and more it is causing for the aging as well right so free uh, so more free radicals we will be able to show more aging but these free radicals that is the free radicals of oxygen i can tell you they are trapped they are inactivated by antioxidant as the name say anti is against oxidants is oxygen right the oxygen free radical so these dark chocolates they have got capability to act as a antioxidant to inactivate the free radical of oxygen right and also students it is also involved in uh, causing for more circulation in the skin and thereby they will be able to improve the ability to retain the moisture in the body as well so when there is more moisture content in the skin also it will be causing for less dryness so less wrinkles so this is how dark chocolate is able to act as you know it is involved in fighting the aging maybe reversing the aging and also it make our skin to glow yes and if you are the beauty freaks or as such you have to prefer chocolate and yes students by eating chocolate you can actually reduce the blood flow and that's why that's how you can actually reduce the blood pressure as well right but how how exactly the blood pressure can be reduced by eating dark chocolate and students for this particular question let me tell you dark chocolates are also rich with caffeine and flavanols so flavanols is a type of chemical that is which is present in the dark chocolate which can actually stimulate the endothelium a layer of the arteries you know what is arteries it is a type of blood vessels right that we have in our heart uh, which is able to connect uh, maybe you know connection between heart and different part of the body is by different blood vessels like capillaries arteries veins so one among these blood vessels is arteries and these arteries are stimulated by endothelium but while the endothelium is getting stimulated by the flavanols also it causes for uh, production of nitric oxide so what is this nitric oxide why am i talking about nitric oxide so the main function of nitric oxide is 
actually to send the signal to the definitely for the blood vessels like arteries so thereby by the by the signals of nitrogen uh, nitric oxide the blood vessel like arteries is able to reduce the resistance towards the blood vessel so when there is less resistance in the blood uh, flow definitely the blood pressure is also low right so that's how dark chocolate that is flavanols that is present in the dark chocolate will be involved in reducing the blood pressure very simple so this is how and this is why by eating dark chocolate we will be able to feel relieved we will be feeling happy and also it is being told students that by eating chocolates especially which is able to trigger or cause dopamine production in our body right dopamine is a happy hormone which will make us happy so that's how we feel happy when we eat chocolate and yes students this dark chocolate they i have told you many functions they are also involved in providing protection to our skin from the sun right from the harmful uv rays they are able to provide protection but how definitely the flavanols which i have just told you they are very good in protecting the body or the skin from the sun da sun damage so when the dark chocolate has the flavanols this that's how they are able to reduce i can tell you also they will be able to protect our skin from the function but how by improving the flow of the blood in the skin and also by increasing the density of the skin and will be making the skin more hydrated more moisturized right so not these many functions these many importance our dark, dark chocolate has there are other important reasons why someone have to eat dark chocolate because the very important reason would be it can improve our brain function yes because uh, as i have told you before dark chocolate has got caffeine right so when do we prefer coffee which is very rich with caffeine especially when we when we have to be active right so since even dark chocolate also has got small amount of caffeine definitely doesn't has caffeine as much as co coffee tea has right but still whatever little amount of caffeine that this dark chocolate has that is enough to make us quite active right so the good news is not over because dark chocolate may also improve the function of our brain that is maybe by causing for uh, improving you know flow of the uh, uh, blood in the blood vessel so you know that all other blood vessels will be uh, showing increased you know or good movement of blood flow you will be improved movement of blood flow you will be able to see in any other part of the body cause of dark chocolate but also you know that even brain have to get some blood right right so even when the blood is going to flow to the brain definitely they will be able to improve the function of the brain students i hope you really enjoyed the session on dark chocolates yes so now you can share the video with your friends brothers sisters parents relatives and especially parents and relatives who say yes if you eat chocolate you get caries right definitely students you when you eat chocolate it's not like you have to eat every day all the time you should be eating chocolate in uh not like lot of amount but in a, a regular manner in a little amount so that it can help us for the health right and also students chocolate is really good for health so all these important uh, features important reasons i have told you why you have to eat chocolate so i hope you have liked the video and definitely keep sending in the comment section what are the different facts that you want to know and i will be upcoming soon uh, on these many you know facts that you will be telling in the comment section but more importantly like the video students share the video subscribe to the channel and never ever forget to take the subscription because this is the crisis time use the uh, crisis time for the best that is you can maximize your preparation of various exams so you might be the student of any class right because because everyone likes or you know everyone likes or everyone will be becoming more curious when it comes to the facts so uh, i will be i will be discussing with you in this particular channel regarding the important facts so you guys can be belonging to class 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 even you might be preparing for neat exam j exam anything possible it can be students it's very important to you know stay disciplined so an academy subscription will be making you more disciplined because we will be guiding you in the classes 
every day we will be taking the classes you can interact with the educators there will be separate doubt clear clearing sessions soon after the three classes and more doubt clearing sessions are going to come up right and you will be able to attend mega quizzes weekly quizzes and many more many more and test series are also available so soon after the test series we will be discussing why a particular option is wrong why other options are right right so this is how we learn in the subscription classes and notes are also provided to students right but i am going to take up classes in cbsc 9 cbsc 10th also foundation and ntsc category for various exams like ntsc nscgs neat also for you know other exams as per the request of the student but how to take the subscription very simple you just have to install the app download the app click on the plus option and then you will be able to find different goals neat category je any possible goals you can choose according to your interest then click on get subscription you will be able to see different month subscription one year and two year is the best because you are able to make maximum utilization of the plus classes you can completely finish off the syllabus so, so that's why we say for uh, to go for you know two year and one year subscription while taking the subscription use my code we are like and definitely student cbsc 9th and 10th subscription also you can take we have got batch courses for this as well and yes while taking the subscription don't forget to use the code we are like so let's meet in the coming class bye bye